I'd like to welcome the candidates to please take the seat of the Sorry, you can't have that one. Sheriff Coroner, and the candidates are Ron Hanover, Mark Potts, and Tim Saxon. As I understand it, Mark has a class tonight and will not be here tonight. The next office is Superintendent of Schools. The one candidate is Sarah E. <coughs> Supahan. 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 Supahan, thank you very much, and uh, she will not be here tonight. Uh, running for treasurer, tax collector, the last office 
are Terry McBriar and Diane Richards. I'd like uh, Kay. We're going we're gonna to start our introductions in the same fashion. We're going to follow the voters' pamphlet. Kay Graves, would you please introduce yourself? Can we come up? Yes. Why don't we do that for the intros, and then when we do the questions, uh, we're going to ask you to simply stay in your seats because otherwise we'll spend a half an hour tonight. Hi, thank you. My name is Kay Graves. I'm running for Supervisor District 1. I'm a lifelong resident of Lewiston. Lewiston, of Trinity County. I was actually born in the Weaverville Hospital. Uh, I went to Humboldt State University. Uh, my background is wildlife management and fisheries, and then I worked for the Forest Service and fishing game. Um, I've attended the Board of Supervisor meetings for over seven years. I've uh, done a lot of volunteer work uh, and volunteer training. Uh, Election Integrity Project is one of the trainings I took. I've been a poll watcher since uh, 2014. I was a member of the Collaborative for seven years, and I'm on the State Jefferson Committee. Um, I've spent a lot of hours researching and reading, and I realized that it takes a lot of time to learn what's happening in this county, unless something has directly affected you. Uh, it's, it's a lot of time and research, and it's worth it to, to educate yourself so you have a better idea of what's happening. Uh, my background in wildlife, fisheries, fire, timber, um, all of that makes me unique as a candidate. Uh, most of our county is managed by the federal government, yet most of our, none of our supervisors have education or work experience in that area. Uh, we need to deal with our forests, they're a mess. Um, we have one of our represent, our representative is actually looking to take more um, of our public land out of production. And, you know, all that stuff, that's not good for our county. It may suit some people, but the county in whole, it, it's not good for our county. Um, I would like to use uh, coordination to work with the federal government. Coordination is a process in NEPA where you bring the federal government to the table because everyone thinks NEPA is environment. But it's also our culture and our economy, and that's never taken into consideration, and I'd like to make that happen. Um, it's kind of a long night, so I'll, I'll keep it short. Um, I hope you remember me in June and vote Kay Graves. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Keith, I'd like you to come up and introduce yourself, please. I'll probably go to Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Keith Groves, for most of you know that. Um, I was um, from Trinity Center area before the lake came in, so the last child from the town of Springtown is my great claim to fame. Jim's laughing at that, but yeah. So uh, I've worked uh, in the wine industry my whole working life. Uh, I was uh, worked my way through college logging, and then uh, we, me and my father and my mother started Alpen Cellars in 1984. Uh, from the governmental side, I've been a school board member, I've been a fire board member, I was uh, president of TPUD, and also a planning commissioner for 12 years before I ran for this office. Uh, my greatest, one of my greatest achievements is, is actually getting voted in and getting the trust of the people to do the, the job that you've been trusted me with. And that's to do the people's business at the county level for District 1. The, the things that I've done in the past three years uh, in District 1 is uh, there's been quite a string of, of things going on, a lot of them going on in the Lewiston area. Uh, but when, we came, when I came into the county, the county was just coming out of a real bad uh, economic times. And thank Judith Fluger for getting it back on track where we were shooting may be. Um, so, uh, at this point, uh, we are now in, in where we're in the midst of building a new fire, or uh, excuse me, a new jail in Weirville, and that's a $20 million project. Lewiston is on the edge of building a new sewer system, which is $16 million. 
<coughs> they uh, did an amazing job of getting the state to cough that money up, which is kind of unheard of. Uh, we've appointed a new CAO. It's got uh, us back on track at the county uh, management level. And uh, we brought in several more uh, people into the sheriff's office, so one, one deputy we funded and three more code enforcement. Um, we've gotten funding for the Trace Center Marina and the Minersville Marina, and we've also gotten some funding to fix Stony, uh, Stony Point uh, ramp in. So uh, that's kind of a basic outline of what we've done in the last three years, and that my two minutes are up. This needs to change, and it needs to start at our elections. Making sure that our elections are honest is the first step to ensuring our liberty. The second step is to involve the public in every aspect of the electoral process. From voting to observing elections to running for office, the people must participate, and as our elections officer, it will be my mission to make sure these activities are easy to do and that more people participate in running our county and our country. Our assessments are too high and are in fact abnormal, and our poorest citizens are suffering because of this incorrect application of tax laws and are unable to find relief from the current assessor's office. Please join me in giving Trinity County back its prosperity by voting for me so that we can live our lives knowing that there are people who will fight for us and that we can fight for ourselves. I look forward to your questions. Forenza. I'd ask Shanna White to please come up and introduce herself. Hi, I'm Shanna White. I'm your current County Clerk Recorder Assessor. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight um, to get to know your candidates and, and decide who's the best candidate for you and your community come June 5th. Um, a little bit about me. My family moved to Trinity County in 1982. Uh, I married my husband, Greg, over 30 years ago, and we are the successful business owners of White Construction and Roofing. We're also the proud parents of two daughters who were born and raised in Trinity County. <clears throat> my career with Trinity County began 23 years ago as an account clerk one in the auditor controller's office. Uh, through hard work and dedication, I am now your current county clerk recorder assessor. I currently hold my certified property tax appraiser certificate, and I'm four courses, I'm sorry, three courses away from my advanced certificate. I also hold certificates in a recordable document examiner, and I'm four courses in towards my California Professional Elections Administration credential. I continue to take, attend annual trainings offered by various associations to stay informed on any changes of laws and procedures. Since my appointment, I've done everything possible to protect the confidentiality of voters personal information, and I've run elections with integrity and honesty and by law. Contrary to what's being said, I do follow federal, state, and local codes. I don't make them up. A few other accomplishments I've had since being in the office. I've increased the office hours open to the public from 3 to 6. I've implemented the ability to examine official records uh, electronically, so you don't have to drag those big old books off the walls. Um, and with the assistance of the Treasury Cash Collector, we can now accept payments uh, via credit card. A little bit about my team. I'm very proud of them and the customer service that they offer. Uh, they are hardworking, knowledgeable individuals, and they make every attempt to ensure customers' needs are met. I'd like to close by saying I've dedicated the past 23 years to Trinity County, and most importantly, the last eight to this office. My experience has provided me the knowledge and understanding that ensures these departments run 
<clears throat> excuse me, effectively and with integrity. Although I may not be the best public speaker, I am the, the candidate with the most knowledge and experience for this position, and I look forward to your vote on June 5th. Thank you. Ms. Wright, would you please come and introduce yourself? Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity tonight. I'm Lisa Wright, and I'm here to ask you to make the right choice this election. You've lived for nearly a decade under Board of Supervisor Appointed Clerk Recorder Assessors, I'll call CRA, and I feel like it's time that you have uh, someone who's elected to represent you. Let's look at some of the facts of what's happened over the last few years. We have a 2016 grand jury report on facts, not rumors or vendettas like some might have you believe, stating several violations of election code. I served on the Trinity uh, County Grand Jury in 2010, and I know how seriously the members take their job before they present uh, the facts to the judge. There was also a 2014 Board of Equalization report during the office tenure of the now appointed CRA that found 22 significant areas uh, that have problems in them. Now, I've been unable to find any public reports on how either the grand jury um, findings have been corrected or the Board of Equalization. So you might be asking, who's Lisa Wright? We haven't seen you before. What, why are you standing up here? So let me take you back with me to the third grade when I was searching out another biography of an American president. I couldn't get enough. By the sixth grade, I thought I would become the president. In high school, I was going door to door, knocking on, uh, knocking on doors, uh, offering rides to the polls on cold November days. I went on to um, earn a bachelor's degree in political science and French. I have a master's degree in public administration, after which I served um, as one of 200 that year in the presidential management program. I served in the U.S. Department of Justice, um, Executive Office for U.S. Trustees, where I helped roll out a program nationwide that was self-funded and had investment authority. I later went on um, to also receive training from the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center and White Collar Crime and Fraud Investigation. Home and community really pulled me back to my roots. I went on to serve as a controller at a college. I've been an executive director of a chamber of commerce, as well as an executive director of an economic development corporation, where we really focused on broadening and expanding our tax base, rather than raising the assessed value of properties and putting that burden onto fixed income individuals. I spent another 15 years in the private sector around Oracle software, so I've had over 30 years of experience in the workforce and bring a lot of education and dedication. But my heart really remains in community, so I stepped up, I stepped away from my private uh, life in uh, Lewiston, because I believe that you deserve a choice in this election and that you deserve better. I'm committed to protecting your rights, like your right to free and fair elections, and your right to own private property where you're equitably taxed. I'm running to serve the people as a fair, honest, transparent candidate who remembers how much blood has been shed to ensure that you have these rights and that they not be taken from you. Thank you. Next, we'll hear from uh, the candidate for Sheriff Coroner. Is Ron? Ron's here. Uh, Ron Ham Hannah. Hello, everybody. I've met a lot of you folks. Uh, I see a few faces out there I haven't seen before. Uh, I thank you all for inviting me out tonight. A um, little bit about myself. I was born in Trinity County 59 years ago. Uh, I'm fourth generation from Trinity County. My wife was uh, raised here, and my grandkids were raised here or, and born here. I worked in our sawmills, I've worked in logging, I've worked in other small businesses around the county before going to work for the sheriff's office. <clears throat> I've been serving Trinity County for 20 years as a deputy. Um, I started my career working in the jail for about a year and then moved out onto the street. Um, I've, uh, I'm currently the code enforcement officer uh, for Trinity County, uh, marijuana code enforcement. I've been administering that program for the past five years. Um, 
a little bit of my training. I've spent eight years in the United States Coast Guard, uh, 21 years uh, in the Sheriff's Office. I was 15 years on patrol. Uh, 14 of those years I was a field training officer where I trained dozens of officers that have come through the Sheriff's Office. Um, I'm SWAT trained, I'm SWAT sniper trained, I'm the current sniper for the department. Um, some of my other trainings, uh, drug endangered children investigation, active shooter emergency response trained, uh, supervisory management trained, um, I've got uh, uh, my advanced certificate from post. Some of my plan points. Uh, Build lasting partnerships with our citizenry, work with community organizations to proactively address growing concerns, address employee retention and recruitment, obtain funding for additional deputies, address the rising concerns for school safety, improve response time to calls for service, hold deputies accountable to community concerns, protect our watershed from harmful pesticides, establish environment of community involvement address homelessness and related issues, and uh, help build the Sheriff's Auxiliary to be an extension of the Sheriff's Office. Okay. Uh, it is my desire to be a sheriff for the people, a proactive sheriff, a sheriff that is willing to continue working in the field, a sheriff that will lead from the front lines, a sheriff that will stay in touch with the community, and will remain ever vigilant in staying an active part of each community. As sheriff, I will protect and defend our Second Amendment right. I will continue to work with local and state agencies to combat our county's environmental issues. Thank you. As I indicated, Mark Potts is in class and will not be here tonight. Tim Saxon, please come up and introduce yourself. Good evening. I'd also like to thank all of you for being here tonight. It's a good group out there. I recognize several friendly faces, and uh, hopefully I'll get to meet a few more of you before the evening's over. Um, Tim Saxon, running for Sheriff Porter. I have over 30 years of law enforcement experience. I started my career in 1983, uh, joining the Highway Patrol, and after graduation, uh, served down in Los Angeles. Uh, two field commands down there. Uh, went up to headquarters. I served there in uh, the Office of Equal Employment Opportunity promoted to lieutenant, went off to San Jose and Oakland, then back to headquarters, where I managed such programs as the uh, California Motorcycle Safety Program and the uh, statewide grants program that the Highway Patrol got uh, money from the federal government and state government uh, operating programs throughout the state. I also was liaison to the state capitol, where I worked on programs such as the Governor's Policy Council on Alcohol and Drug Abuse. The, uh, Juvenile Justice Committee and uh, the Criminal Justice and Planning Committee. 1998, I was lucky enough to be selected as a commander of the CHP office in Weaverville. So all of Trinity County and the Willow Creek resident posts were under my command. And I served there for about 10 years before going off to Redding where I became the administrative officer for 17 area commands in Northern California, basically just north of Sacramento, all the way to the Oregon border. And such uh, the duties I did there were Grants management, budget management, overtime. I did auditing, fleet management, uh, internal investigations. So I taught civil liability, and I also taught uh, peace officer bill of rights. Um, after that, I was promoted to captain, went down to Hollister Gilroy, and that was my last command where I supervised 55 employees there. I had all of San Benito County that uh, I was responsible for, as well as the uh, southern part of Santa Clara County. So I worked very closely with sheriff's departments and police departments uh, in those areas to combat crime. Some of the things I want to do is utilize my 30 plus years of experience, which also includes the last five years at the Trinity Courts uh, as a marshal. Uh, I want to utilize all those experiences to, uh, to really get back to Trinity County. We've lived here for 20 years. My kids grew up here, went through the school system here, went off to college. And when they graduated, they decided to come back to Weaverville. They love Trinity County. So that tells me that me